you must not have seen such a feast. All kinds of plastic and discarded rubbish, processed by the masterful hands of a chef, turned into a deadly delicacy. In a tavern in Nagoya, three mysterious customers came in. They gave the chef a strange menu. The chef turned around and thought for a moment, looked at all the fresh ingredients in front of him and they didn't fit. Finally, he grabbed a plastic bottle and a few straws. The chef began to work. High-end ingredients often require excellent knife work. He took the best part of the middle, evenly cut into pieces. Then he plates it and sets it aside. Then he picks up a plastic straw. He cuts it into small pieces. Then he pinched it up and scattered them evenly on the plate. The chef brings out another tray of plastic squares, skillfully squeezing the shapes in his hands. The sushi is ready in a variety of flavors. Finally, there is another dish, a platter of sashimi with plastic bottles and rubber straws. Finished, the chef rubs his shoulders. He was very pleased with his work. And then the meal is served to his guest. And the guests were the seabird lady, Mr. Turtle and Mr. Seal. At the sight of the feast, the seal cried tears of joy. The other two were in awe that this was not just food. It's a work of art. What if we don't get to eat it again? The chef is pleased. He takes a sip of his drink, and not far away, the human is eating a plate of freshly sliced raw fish. Film offers a unique perspective, reveals the reality of human pollution of the marine environment at the current rate of development. By 2050, 99% of the world's seabirds and 52% of sea turtles will have accidentally eaten plastic. More than 250,000 tons of rubbish will form islands on the surface of the sea. In Spain, an average of 29 kilograms of plastic waste could kill a sperm whale. Large amounts of plastic particles have also been found in supermarket seafood. Humans can indirectly absorb them by eating seafood. And now, plastic particles have also been found in human feces. So to protect the environment, protecting our own... 3. 206. This chef cut up the plastic bags neatly on top of the rice, rolled together, then cut it evenly. The sushi is ready and tasty. The sushi is served to passers-by for free. The sushi was really good, but soon people were eating plastic bags out of the sushi, so they spat out the plastic bag. People started to ask the girl, how could there be such a thing in the sushi? The girl said it's because it's the filling. People started to question, how can you put a plastic bag in your food? Don't you know that plastic bags are not edible? What if someone does accidentally eat it? A series of questions from passersby left the girl speechless. The girl whispered that it wasn't very dangerous. The passerby was very angry. If it's not dangerous, then why don't you eat it yourself? So the passersby started to verbally attack the girl. But the girl said she didn't know what she was doing. The company told her what to do. This explanation obviously didn't work. They wanted the girl to take responsibility for the incident, obviously. No one is afraid to eat plastic bags. Humans can't eat it and spit it out. What about animals? Thailand. Millions of tons of plastic waste are produced every year. Every year, millions of marine animals die every year from eating plastic waste. These horrific images are shown every day.